Well, let's go. The 2024 season starts this week, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. Before I get started, if you like this kind of content, vlogs, lure reviews, all that stuff, opinions, whatever it is, click that subscribe button to become part of the team and family, and I really do appreciate it. And another thing, I'd like to thank everyone who commented and told me how to say eBear instead of eBray. I apologize. I don't have never met Dakota. There's a lot of guys I don't know. I know a lot of people out there from doing the radio show for years, but there are some I don't know. I'm going to make mistakes. Everyone is going to make mistakes, so I apologize, and I appreciate the you leave me the comment and feedback to tell me if I'm incorrect as much as I don't like to be incorrect as does anyone I'm gonna make mistakes and not knowing all the anglers or their names is something that I'm not good at I just don't pronounce things well and I'm gonna do it in the future so just be prepared to send another comment tell me how to pronounce pronounce somebody's last name but I do appreciate it the 2024 season starts this week, the opens are down there at uh, the Bassmaster Opens are down there on Lake Okeechobee, not too far from me, a couple, couple hours away. And I think the opens are going to be another extremely exciting and really challenging place to win and to get those points to get into leads. I think it's one of the most fun tournament series there is. The competition is at an all-time high with all the new guys that have left BPT to join and try to get their lease sets back. Anglers like E. Bear, thank you again, is going to be in there and it's going to be, it's going to be pretty, it's pretty stacked. Ish Monroe, I'm trying to look at my notes, Randall Tharp, Florida boy, who I would imagine is going to do very well down there on the, in the open, could start off his season really well. Ace, Brett Height, and there's so many others that have left BPT for many reasons because of constant changes or whatever it is. But the 2024 off season or 2023, 24 off season has been another season where it's been almost dominated by everything that's gone wrong with with Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour. Bass, Bass Pro Tour eliminating a lot of the anglers has changed a lot of where those anglers are are now and where their future is because they need to look at the future even more because if they've been in the bottom of the BPT for years, they're probably going to have a real tough time making it to that top 65 and then even harder time to make it into that top 50. So the opens are where the the probably some of the best fishing is going to happen. And down there in Okeechobee this week, I would imagine they're going to be using a lot of chatterbaits and flipping and punching and stuff like that. I think they're probably hitting Okeechobee almost perfectly. I think you're going to see some absolute studs. They had an MLF Toyota series this past weekend down there in Okeechobee and a local angler, Jesse, and I don't even want to even try to pronounce his, his last name. It starts with an M. A local guy, local angler went down there and just put out, put down 24 pounds each day to win the, the first Toyota series. And that's a pretty good a pretty good average. I think that there's an opportunity because we have had really a warm front come through this past week and it's going to get cooler as we go towards the weekend that the fishing could be really good. But again, chatterbaits and stick baits and flipping and punchy is probably going to be what most of the anglers do. And that open is going to be a good way to see where anglers are at right away and who's going to be the favorite going in and how consistent can they be. So the opens again are going to be really amazing. And as I record this on Tuesday, today is the first day of the Major League Fishing Stage 1 on Toledo Bend. Group A is fishing right now. It's uh, 12.15. Uh, and as I sit here and I look over there to see how things are going, Jacob Wheeler is again doing what he does best. He is in first place. Started off the day with an 8, 8.03, which was is pretty damn impressive. But Cliff Crochet just put one down. Probably gonna this fish is going to put him into the heavy hitters. I would imagine. He caught an 1101 on the first day. So as Group A is out there fishing, Toledo Bend is showing out. They've caught good fish, they've caught big fish, and they've kind of hit it pretty much on the nose for Major League Fishing because they're catching some big fish. The leads will start there at the end of the month and we'll see how the difference is between the beginning of February and then the end of February. But I think both series are, are hitting Toledo Bend at a great time. And like I said, elites head down to Toledo Bend at the end of the month with new anglers like the new, the new nine and anglers that came out of the opens like Ben Milliken and Jordan Lee coming back from BPT. This is going to be a fantastic year on the Elite Series. Some great new rookie anglers, 
some great all-around anglers like Patrick Walters and Kyle Welcher and John Cox and Hackney and Lee and Brandon Palahniuk. I mean, the list goes on and on of fantastic anglers on the Elite Series. Though I think they don't, I'm not really fond of their tournament schedule this year. I think the Elites, I mean, I think BPT has a better fishing schedule than the Elites this year, but both are going to be absolutely fantastic. It'll be fun to watch the rookies and then see where everyone else fits in. How well will Ben Milliken do against 75 of the best anglers on the planet he, that he's fishing against? It'll be fun to see how he does, if he's consistent, can he win? I'm looking forward to watching Ben for the whole season and seeing how it turns out, but I think he'll do fairly well. But imagine him winning Rookie of the Year or Angler of the Year or something like that. It would be mind-boggling. I think Randy Blackett would probably croak or something. He'd probably He'd have to stop doing videos, and I'm joking, of course, but it'll be fun to see where all the anglers are at after the end of the year, but the 2024 season for BPT and the Elites is shaping up to be a pretty damn good one. And let me remind you, after every Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour, I'm going to do a video on where the top 65 anglers are at. Now, that's what I have can come up with, the list I have. If you want that list, you can just send me a DM or a private message or whatever, and I'll send you the list so you can look at it. But I'm going to try to keep up with it as much as possible. Say who's in and who's out after every tournament. And then we can kind of gauge where the season is going. I think it'll be more interesting for me and it'll help me keep up with all the anglers. And the big news this past week and weekend was the N NPFL, the National Professional Fishing League, the league, hired Cousin Ken Duke. And I call him Cousin because he is family to me. He and I fish together. Uh, I rely on a lot of his expertise on where people are at or how people react or who has good morals or who is a good angler and things like that. We've been close friends for 15, 16, 17 years. I have a lot of faith in Ken. He will be hosting the NPFL's podcast before the tournament starts. I don't know what they call it, the pre-show, I don't know what it is, but he'll be doing that with anglers talking about what's going on. And it's a it's a round table discussion on that PHYX TV, which is fixed TV, but who would ever you I would have never figured that out. And it's it's free, and if you want to watch it, just go a couple days before the tournament starts, if you know when the tournament starts, and then you can see Ken Duke interview lots of great anglers from the NPFL, and hopefully it works out for him, uh, because Ken is one of the best guys in, on the planet, to be honest. He's one of the best guys on the planet. And the NPFL starts off in Logan Martin this week. They're actually starting off, I think, today or tomorrow, and they'll have their tournament. It's going to be nice and chilly out there in the mornings and in the mid-30s, and the highs of about 50 and it could be a tough bite probably I don't know if it's the right time to go to Logan Martin and in the in the grand scheme of where NPFL go is going this year I think it's the worst tournament schedule but that doesn't mean they can't catch fish where they're going so it'll be fun to see who's doing what and how they do it you're gonna see Walters and Welcher and Cox and some other guys out there we won't see Zach Burge I don't think the first couple days but Zach Burge is in group A today but we'll see if he makes it out there for the rest of the tournament during the weekend for the NPFL so I wish them the best of luck. I don't know how much I'm going to keep up with NPFL, to be honest. We're going to see how the first couple tournaments go and where my, my mind is. But I tried to watch the first replay of Ken's podcast, and it came back with a playback error. So just another minor problem with everything that goes on with NPFL. Hopefully they get that fixed. Like I said at the beginning, the 2024 season is finally here. We can finally take a step back from all the drama that we had with NPFL and uh, the BPT and look forward to seeing some great fishing. Which one are you going to watch? Which one are you not going to watch? I'd like to know that in the comments below. We'll keep up with everything as well as I can. Can't promise that I'm not going to mispronounce people's last name because if I don't mispronounce something, then this channel has really went in the dumps because if I'm cr correctly saying things right, y'all are in a lot of trouble. Just joking, of course. I hope you guys have a blessed day. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Thank you for 2024. Let's go. Let's go. Talk to you soon. Cheers.